Caring brothers and sisters. Thank you, Stephen. They're alive. You do not know how happy I am today. We have 44 PEs today. I believe it's a record. Please give yourself a hand. I think I'm going to be pretty boring after a person like Stephen. I can't move as fast as he can. But I will try in my own way. Let me start by, first of all, showing you the theme for the year. And I'd like you to meet our Rotary International President of your year, Kalyan Banaji. Now don't worry about everything you've got here. Is you've got a disc on your folder which has everything on it. I just want to discuss, I want you to listen, I want you to feel the passion of the man. He's a, born in India, Calcutta, which is, I hate these new names, it's actually Calcutta. And he is two children, four grandchildren, and he's married to Benota. Benota is a show show worker. So it shows you what kind of man he is. He's very successful in business. He's a chemical engineer. He runs all these big companies. And besides that, this is his history of Rotary. From 1972, when he joined the Rotary Club of Bobby, till this year in July, he will become the Rotary International President. Banaji is a very simple man. He's energetic, charismatic, and a dedicated leader. He's always charming. And when he wants something, let me tell you about Banaji. He gets it. He called me twice at 1.30 in the morning. And my wife took the phone and she said, 1.30, whoa. <laughs> and the guy said, can I please speak to David? He will not take no. But this is the man. He expects a lot, but he gives a lot. He's a man of passion, and I hope that we all can follow that passion. So let me try to explain the theme to you, because some people say to me, is it a gacha? <laughs> it's like a disease, it's some word. So let me try to. <laughs> yes, it's really quite complicated. Anyway, <laughs> let us hear, let us hear how our right, being talked about some few minutes. My brothers and sisters in Rotary, Mahatma Gandhi once said, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. I believe we are in Rotary to change the world, for why else would we be Rotarians? That is why each one of us today has come here ready to share with Rotary one of our most valuable possessions, one full year of our lives. We are willing to give this great gift because we believe that it is the best way, the surest way, to be the change that we ourselves want to see. For whatever that change is, we can achieve it better when we do it together. We wrote it. And so, what is the change that we see? Well, we talk a great deal in Rotary about building a more peaceful world. But I would say that it is just simple logic that you cannot give others something you don't already have yourself. And so I ask you to recognize that peace, true peace, must come from within first. We have to find our own peace within ourselves and our home and work outward from there through our families, our neighborhoods, our communities, our countries, and then our world. In the coming year, the first of our emphases will be the family, because the family is where all life goals begin. If we wish to see a world that is more joyous, one with greater harmony and hope, we have to look first at the family. The family is the building block of the community. As the family goes, so goes everything else. So we have to look at housing, at clean water, at sanitation, at health care, at all the issues affecting mothers and children. For there to be a strong family there must first be a strong and safe home. Only then can there be health, hope, and harmony within its walls. 
our second emphasis will be on continuing, on strengthening those things that we do well. There are so many areas in which we have been so successful, working for clean, safe water, spreading literacy, working in so many ways with our youth, and of course, our greatest project, polio eradication, where our success has come slowly, but is no less certain. And the same goes, the difficult is done immediately. The impossible takes a little longer. If we want to really achieve the impossible, we have to keep at it. That is why I ask you to focus in your service on continuing the things we do best. Then, of course, there are always things that we can do better, things that we should be changing, and things that we haven't started working on yet. That is why our third emphasis in 2011 and 12 will be change, and being the change we wish to see in the world. If we wish for peace, we start by living in peace ourselves, in our homes and in our communities. If we wish for environmental degradation to stop, if we wish to reduce child mortality or to prevent hunger, we must be the instrument of that change and recognize that it must start with each of us. And so I say today, first reach within yourselves and move on confidently, firmly towards the targets you have set for yourself. Discover yourself. Then develop the strengths within you and then unhesitatingly, unflinchingly go forth and encircle the world to embrace humanity. And that, my brothers and sisters in Rotary, is our theme for our year, each within to embrace humanity. Today, as we get ready to commit a precious year of our lives to Rotary, let us clearly understand that each one of us has a part to play, to perform, to deliver. We cannot simply go back home from here saying, we shall try our best. We need to commit ourselves absolutely, fully, and say what I must do shall indeed be done. And I tell you that each one of you will succeed because the result and the strength to do this, to do anything, comes from within yourself. Reach within to embrace humanity and find the power to create your change. So I've asked you to repeat the speech. Can you repeat it? Can you tell me the theme? Reach within. And how do we start? Do what you do best. <laughs> do all the things we do best. I'm going to go through it one more time for you, because I've listened to the speech now eight times. He's asking each one of us to be the catalyst. You know, we're all presidents for one. You do not know what you're in for. You're in for laughter, tears. You're going to change the world. He's asking you to be the catalyst to make a better world for tomorrow. So how do you do that? Well, reach inside yourself. Reach inside your inner self where you are the strongest and the purest, and use that beautiful, powerful force inside you to start to make the change. Unleash the power that's inside you. That's what he's asking us to do. So let me, I've got this thing working so I can move a little faster now. So how does it begin? It's a very, very simple thing. Every Rotarian reach within yourself. You love and nurture your family. Isn't that the most important part? Love family, best friends, whatever. So you love, you nurture your family. Next level, love and help your friends, your neighbors, your community to be better. And finally, make it a better world for all of us. Healthier, cleaner, better for our children. That's what he's trying to tell us. His first area of emphasis has always been the family. Why the family? That's where happiness reigns, where harmony reigns, where you resolve all your family's problems. Same thing, you solve the family's problems. You create a safe haven for your family. You take it to the next level. The second area he wants us to be strong at is continuing.